Yeah. What's up, yeah. Yeah. you guys? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy holidays, everybody. We're going to do a wig video today. I am excited. We always do a wig video, right? We do. Yeah. I'm going to change it up on you guys. And you guys are going to be like, wow, April. Hope you guys are having like a really great day. I'm happy. It's Sunday. It is early in the afternoon. Well, it was. It's 206. So today's video is being brought to you by My First Wig. Seriously, guys, I love My First Wig. You know, I love them. I love RPG Show. They have the best wigs ever. I'm telling you guys, the best wigs in the whole wide world. I seriously recommend them if you have not got you one. You know, it's still Christmas. It's early, so you can still buy you a nice little Christmas gift. Just love yourself. Buy yourself a nice wig for Christmas, girl. Okay? So this one is a basic style. This is one of their new 13 by 4 and a half inch frontals okay 13 by four and a half girl. Okay. and you know how they do they always have the best wigs so your lace will melt girl you forget that you're wearing a wig your friend won't even know she might even want one too for christmas the lace is swiss so it's transparent it's already been pre-bleached for you guys so you don't have to do anything already been already been pre-plucked so if you are new to wearing wigs, don't really have to do a lot of work with my first wig. It already comes with an elastic band sewn in it. So girl, they got you. So I'm going to show you guys how your wig comes. This is from their new collection, which is the Zodiac collection. And yeah, let's get into this, okay? Hey, you guys. So when you receive this unit from my first wigs, it'll come in their new box, which is for their Zodiac collection. It'll also state my first wig, quality wigs for beginners. You'll also receive one of their product sleeves, which will give you your order information. It'll tell you the length, the style, the cap size, and lace color. For an additional cost, you can also purchase one of their wig kits, which will entail some bobby pins, a rat tail comb, and styling clips. You can also purchase their flyaway tamer, which is great for any texture hair. It helps with hot comb pressing. Also, it helps with any extra flyaways. And your extra amenities will come in their My First Wigs black and white stripe pouch carry along bag. Your unit will also come in one of the My First Wigs infamous carry along bags. And with the wig kit, there'll be a wig stand also included. My First Wigs is introducing one of their new products, which is their Edge Control. It has the perfect hold and no residue. You can also purchase this on their website. And as I stated, this is the Zodiac Collection Unit. This unit is absolutely beautiful, as any wig is from My First Wig. Her name is Alexis, and she's 18 inches in length. Virgin Malaysian straight hair with a density of 130%. For this unit to only be 130%, it's very full. My First Wigs has also taken the initiative to sew in their elastic bands, which you can easily adjust the size. All of the units do come semi-bleached along with semi-pre-plucked and the lace on this unit is transparent tinted Swiss lace, so you can barely see it on the mannequin. I'll definitely leave all of the information down below for my first wigs, as they have so many amazing units to choose from, and I'm pretty sure you'll love this Zodiac collection that they just came out with. Go ahead and pick your sign. I'm pretty sure you'll love the wig that represents it. All right, you guys, so let's get into this wig tutorial. Prior to adhering any wig, you want to make sure that your hairline is clean from any debris. I've used a baby wipe. You can use an alcohol wipe. I use the alcohol wipe, but I normally use a baby wipe. And I'm going to go ahead and try out this um, edge control. I already actually did try it um, the night before, and it actually does hold good. It doesn't give the strongest, strongest hold in the world like glue, because that's not what it's supposed to do. But it does give a good hold, and it did not leave any residue behind. So I'm really happy about that. Now, normally I don't put my wig on like this, you guys. You know, I normally just put it from the back and pull it forward. That's easier for me. All of that extra was a little bit much, but I wanted to try something different. You know, I sometimes I will put my wig on like that, but whatever's easier for you. Now, I went ahead and created me a part, and I'm going to be using one of the My First Wigs Wax Sticks, which is their flyaway tamer. This is great for hot combing, hot 
hot combing, flat ironing, pressing. It does allow the hair to lay flatter to the unit. Plus, it's also good for flyaways, but I really love it when it's time to hot comb. It'll allow me to train my part. And girl, let me tell you, you definitely want to be very careful with any type of hot comb because they do get super duper hot. This one in particular is by the Andis brand, and I did purchase it from Walmart. They are $20 at your local Walmart, but you can also purchase them on Amazon as well if you don't have a Walmart near you. Now I'm just going to be very careful and just go ahead and just slick down the edges of this unit and try to allow it to lay flat as possible to my own natural head shape. You know what I'm saying? But just be careful, okay? The lace on this unit is so transparent that honestly you'll forget you're wearing a wig, girl. Like seriously, you will forget that you are wearing a wig. Now as you guys can see right here, I'm checking on the sides to see where the wig lands. And I really think that it's super duper important to have any type of tools on hand. As you see, I'm using some of my hair clips, which is very important when it's time to cut and style your wig. Now, I did cut the lace in three quarters and I'm gonna go ahead and take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna part it directly above my ear. As you guys can see, the lace is overlapping my ear. And if you want your wig to look realistic, natural, real as possible, and fit comfortable, you'll definitely want to take this step right here and apply that method to your wig install. And I'm just going to show you a close-up as I take my rat tail comb, and I do have a part right here, and I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to part, I'm going to cut that. It's not going to destroy your wig, it's definitely not going to take away from it, but it will allow your wig to lay much flatter to your hairline. Along with that, it'll be a whole lot comfortable besides tucking it behind your ear. Now me per se, I prefer a small pair of curved scissors. I know there are a lot of people that use big scissors and whatever makes you feel comfortable is up to you. And when I do cut, I kind of cut in a kind of like jagged motion. I don't want it to be straight across. But with this particular lace, you can barely see it. So it was a little hard for me to cut it. Now you guys already know I love uh, any type of sideburns but versus the sideburns this is an easy way for me to apply my wig so I will take a small portion and part it in the front and I will take my hairspray and spray that in between the part sometimes I'll do it underneath as well depending on how long I plan to wear the wig but for this particular video I'm just going to take it on the outside and spray it in between the parting and then I'll take my blow dryer on a cool to medium heat and blow dry the product if you don't have a blow dryer, please try to spray in small sections at a time using your rat tail cone as you see me doing right here and pressing it down. Now as far as the front hairline, this part is the most important because this is the part where people keen in and zoom in on your hair, always having eye contact. So the front part is the most important. And as you see, I am taking my hair with my comb and I'm kind of like pushing the hairs forward. I am taking the comb and I'm bringing that between the hairs and I am brushing, um, just pulling the hair forward. As you see right here, I am now lifting the front hairline up and I'm going to take that rat tail comb and I'm going to slip it in between the very first portion of the hair in the front of the hairline, as you see, and I'm going to kind of like push it forward. This will help in allowing the wig to look like it was growing out of your scalp versus making it really flat. When you do press into the unit and make it really flat, it makes it a little bit more noticeable to the eye. So what I prefer to do is to take my rat tail comb and just kind of like put it in between the hairs and kind of like push them forward. This will allow your unit to stand up as if it was growing out of your hairline or your scalp. And I just went ahead and used some of their um, edge control for those little baby hair wispy hairs and now it's time to style this baby okay I'm just going to use a one and a half inch barrel and I did use some of my pet head excuse me my got to be hairspray on it just to hold the curl because it is straight hair and I'm just going to use my pins to hold it you want to make sure that you hold the curl in place until it cools that way the curl will hold okay and you just want to go ahead and repeat these same steps on the opposite side Now 
Now, as you guys can tell from just brushing this hair, this is beautiful. I'm not really sure where it's 130% density, but girl, please, it definitely does not resemble 130%. It looks very natural. And as you see, I'm doing the same thing with the hairline. Once again, I'm taking the comb and I'm just brushing it forward. I don't really like it to lay so flat and flush to my hair in the front because the naked eye can see this. So when you push it forward, like I'm showing you guys, or like I showed you, it'll stand up and it'll look like it's growing out of your scalp. Take it from me. Trust me. So this wig was easy to do. You don't have to really make any baby hairs, but I always need like these right here. I always need these hairs. Trick to me keeping my hair to stand up on the top right here and make it kind of look like it's not laying flat but also to make it look like it's growing, like, you know, standing up roots out of my hair. I just kind of like take the comb and brush it forward. And then I'll spray some hairspray on the tip of the comb and just go in between and kind of like push it forward. This wig is so pretty. You get a nice amount of parting space. You know? And for 18 inches, this look like 20 girl, okay? So I hope you guys have like an amazing holiday. Check the information out down below. On that note, I got to go. And I will see you guys in a soon to come video.